Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again, bringing another math video. In this video, I'm going to explore finding the arc length of a circle. So the arc length is basically just some part of the circumference of a circle. So usually what ends up happening is you get a central angle theta, and you're given the radius of the circle. And given these two pieces of information, we can find out, you know, kind of the length that this angle traces around the, around the circle. So there's two separate formulas for this. So one is four degrees. So this guy right here is four degrees. So if you have an angle in degrees, then you can use this one. Or if you have one in radians, you can use this one. So the, the formula for, or the, the symbol for, I should say, for arc length is S. So you end up with theta divided by 360 degrees, 2 pi r. And then that theta, again, that has to be in degrees. The radius can mean any units, doesn't matter, centimeters, meters, whatever. Um, and then this formula in radians is just theta times r. Um, so, one of the things that uh, you should recognize is that arc length is literally a length. So there's another thing called measure of the arc, which is given in, you know, uh, angle measure. So be careful not to mix up the two. Arc length is given in a unit of measurement. So like centimeters, meters, feet, whatever it happens to be. All right, so let's do a couple of examples now. So I've got a, got a question here. So I've got a radius of 2.5 centimeters and I've got an a angle of 95 degrees. So I just got to recognize that this is in degrees, so I'll use this formula. S is equal to um, theta divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So I got my theta. It's really simple if you get all the stuff given. Divided by 360 times 2 pi times 2.5. So it's a matter of just working that out now. So go ahead and put it in my calculator. 95 divided by 360 times 2 pi times 2.5. And I get 95. So the exact answer is 95 pi over 72. If you want an approximate answer, then you can just change it to 4.15 centimeters. So again, just the unit of measurement, so it's just centimeters. Unlike, you know, when you have area of a sector, it's in an area formula with squared units. All right, let's try another one. So, we have an arc length of 50 units. Let me see. So an arc has a, a length of 50 units, and the central angle is 120. What is the radius of the circle? So again, we have to use our uh, formula that's in degrees. And uh, pi, 2 pi r, sorry. So we take our 120, we know, and we know our arc length is 50. So 50, 120 over 360, 2 pi r. So we're looking for the r this time. So what I'm going to kind of do is I'm going to kind of work out, you know, this part right here. So I'm going to go 120 divided by 360. So 120 divided by 360. Then I'm going to times that by 2 pi. So that gives me 50 and it gives me 2 pi over 3 times r. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go divide both sides by this. So 2 pi r over 3 divided by 2 pi or 2 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3. So I get 50 divided by 2 maybe I'll go back. So 2 pi over 3 not 32, 50 divided by 2 pi over 3, and it gives me back this guy, so I don't know, it wasn't changed to a decimal for me, but anyway, that's no big deal. So it gives me back r is equal to 23.9, and I'll say that is in, it says units, so I'll say units, 23.9 units. So there it is. Simple as that. So if you need to just work out this as a decimal first, that's also fine, guys, instead of dividing by 2 pi over 3. Um, but if you need an exact answer, if you want an exact answer, I can kind of work this out, like, you know, without using my calculator. So I'll go 50. So 50 divided by 2 pi over 3. So we can change that to 50 times 3 over 2 pi. So you kind of, you know, reduce it down a little bit. So it becomes 75 so I cancel this, so 
So we come to 25, so 2 times, 25 times 3 is 75 over pi, which is, let me just check to see if that's that. So 75 divided by pi is that number. So we are good to go. All right, let's do one more. Let's see this guy. So this guy right here, so we're asked, what is the perimeter of the shaded region of the circle? So we're looking for, I'll just highlight it. So this is the arc length here. And then if we're looking for the perimeter of the shaded region, we also need to include these two pieces. So the tricky thing about this is it gives us this 80 here. So uh, we need to know this angle on the other side because that's the actual central angle of the shaded area. So that angle is just 360 subtract 80. And the circle is 100, uh, 360. So that would be 280 degrees. So I'll find the uh, arc length first. So S is equal to 280 divided by 360. 2 pi times 10. So I'll work that out. So 280 divided by 360 times 2 pi times 10. So I'll change it to a decimal so I get 48.9 uh, units. So all I have to do now is I have to add to that my two radiuses. So I have 10 and 10 so I'll add 20 to it. So that gives me 68.9 units is the total perimeter of that shaded area. So if you end up with the perimeter of the shaded area, you guys need thing that gets often forgot by students is the fact that you need these two uh, radius is to be included. Alright guys, I hope that takes you through finding the arc length of a circle and uh, see you guys in class and thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do all that YouTube silliness and uh, make me happy. Thank you.